Hello, welcome to Mrs. Hallett's Elsa Saw Art Blog. We are going to make a an origami crane today. First step is we're going to flip our origami paper over, the color is on the back, and we're going to fold it into a triangle. Remember in origami you want to make sure that you do a nice crisp fold. You can use your fingernail, works really well, to make a nice crisp fold. Next step, we're going to take our triangle, make a smaller triangle, crease the paper, take the thing again and fold it into a, another triangle, make a nice crease again with your thumbnail. We're going to open up the triangle again to the large triangle. And so what we've done is we've created some nice folds that we're going to create our origami crane with. First step after that is going to, you're going to turn it. We're going to put it facing up like a little shark's fin. Take our finger, separate the papers, touch the tabletop, and you're going to make this edge here, this crease, line up with this crease on the, on the table. So you're gonna hold the fin your finger down Place it and then simply press the fold into a square. Next step, we're going to flip it over. Going to do a, another shark's fin. Take our finger, put in, separate the pieces of paper out. Press it down to the tabletop. Then simply scoot the square over. Crease both sides, then you're ready for the next step. The next step is you're going to make sure that you have your uh, fold facing your body, so the open part is facing the, your body. You're going to fold, take this side right here, just the one layer, and you're going to have this edge match up with this center edge here. And you're going to crease it with your thumbnail. Do the same thing on the other side, fold it, crease it, so it starts to look like a kite. Going to flip it over, do the same thing to the back. This edge will line up with the center point. Same thing on the other side, crease it. Next step, you're going to take this top part and simply fold it over and do a kind of a double crease. Press a couple times with your uh, thumbnail. What we're doing is we're creating uh, folds so that we creases so that we can fold it into the next shape. Uh, next, you're going to go ahead and open everything up. On both sides, then simply you're going to turn it slightly and this is the step where you're going to hold down with part of your one hand, hold down this part up to this little crease you created, hold that down, you're going to open up the mouth, just one layer of paper, then slowly open it up using your thumb to guide the paper. Then you're going to hold the bottom part down, it wants to go into this fold because of the creases you created. Then you're going to hold this part down that's close to the table and then simply pull the top and then it goes into this diamond shape. So if you're all cut up it should look like that. In origami you repeat the same thing on the other side. So you're going to turn it over. Same thing, you're going to use your one hand to hold the, this part down up to the crease. Then you're going to open the mouth. Open that up, use your thumb to kind of guide the paper. Then this lower half on the tabletop, you're going to fold. You're gonna hold that down and then stretch out the top. And then crease it. Next step, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it. And if you notice there are, I call them legs. You're gonna do skinny legs now. 
So you take the part that's open and you're going to line up this edge to the center point on your crank, your shape. You're gonna line that up so it's nice and pointy all the way to the top. Same thing on the other side. So you're doing skinny legs. Flip it over. Same thing on the other side. And you're going to crease it. Should look like that. Next step, you're gonna go ahead and hold the skinny legs pointing up. Hold it, pinch it with your one hand here. Simply going to open up this little section here. Put your thumb inside and you're gonna bend the paper over, then close it back. Same thing on the other side. Use your thumb to separate it. Open it up, then go ahead and bend it down. Then close it up. And you are basically done. What you do next is flip it over. These are the wings. You're gonna pull out the wings there, press down the center point, then bend. You can bend the little head and also you can also bend, put the tail. There you are, perfect crane. Good luck in your origami paper folding. This is Mrs. Hallett for Elsa Saul's art blog. Thank you.